let us first understand what stippling is uh, in this stippling method see what happens uh, generally since it's only dots is what we are doing so we have to be very very careful that the dots are also done in the direction we cannot just go on putting dots wherever we want okay i will show that with an example so if we are making a round object just like when we are coloring a round object we go in the round strokes same way when we are shading a round object or a straight object we make sure that our strokes and everything is accordingly right like it goes in the straight way or in the slant way or it goes in the round way same way in the stippling wherein the dots are involved we have to make sure that we get proper dotted effect in the direction of the object so let me show you that with an example now in this two capsicum one is stippling is a technique which is all about dots correct now we cannot have dots like this we make a dot here and then draw a line and then so in stippling you can't go like round like this this is no it has to be dots so every time you make a dot you lift your pen or pencil this is one of the most important thing that you need to know in stippling other thing that we need to understand is that dots can be made far away dots can be made close by correct we have to make sure that we get this effect so i will first start putting dots in the direction see i am going like this now wherever i want less color less darkness my dots will be little far off okay now if you notice i'm not going like this i'm not shading in the i'm trying to maintain this direction so i'm coming like this now as i keep on going i want as per the capsicum that is in front of us we see that there is very light effect here so if you notice my dots are very far off hai na abhi i have to add little bit intensity over here so the saturation level at this point will be higher than what is going to be here that will show that where the light is where the light is not so that is going to differentiate the value if we all remember the value chart the mid tone the high tone the dark tone and all that so what i do here i already have dots so that means now when i'm going to add dots it's going to add on to it which is totally fine so what i'm going to do is and if you see i'm again trying to maintain the round effect i'm not putting dots in any other way or vertical or horizontal but i'm trying to go the round or the oval effect that we want yeah this this technique takes a lot of time kids that you all have to keep in mind 